We are at Camp Canoe and want to show you how to operate the hot tub. First thing you will want to do is you want to remove your cover. We want to show you how to do that. One person on each corner will lift up your lift cover, throw it over your lift, raise it up over the back. You will then notice your control panel on the front of your hot tub. You'll notice your jet button, your light, your cool temperature, and your warm temperature. What you'll do to get your jets going, you'll mash your jet button once. And then you can also mash it twice. To get it to do two different speeds. Then you have your light button. You notice your lights around your sides. And then you also have your temperature button. You have a cool that can lower your temperature. And then you also have your warm that will raise your temperature. You'll also notice around your hot tub, jets. And these jets can be turned to the right or to the left. Do it gently. This controls the pressure of the jet coming against your body. You'll also notice uh, knobs like these around your hot tub. We ask that you do not twist or turn those knobs as that can cause them to come off, which would cause your hot tub to have to be repaired. Also, you'll notice that a container sitting by your hot tub of chemical. We ask that after each use, after you get through with your hot tub, to take this chemical, turn your jets on, go find your filter in your hot tub. This filter in this hot tub is on the back side, located right here. We ask that you take one scoop of chemical and put into your filter after each use. You do not have to turn your hot tub off. It cycles automatically, so don't worry about that. After you are finished with your hot tub, we ask that you keep your cover on your hot tub so you will close it the same way as you opened it. Place your cover back on, fold it back over, and you're ready to go for next time. We are at Camp Canoe and want to show you how to light the outside fireplace. As you see right now, the pilot light is lit when you come up to your fireplace. Then you'll go to the left, right hand side of your fireplace and you'll, know a you'll notice a timer. You'll see an off button, 120 minutes, 60 minutes, and 30 minutes. You can push whatever time you would like. 30 minutes and your fireplace will come on. After 30 minutes, your fireplace will automatically go off or you can push the off button and you can turn your fireplace off. Now, if you push the 30 minute button or one of the times and your fireplace does not come on, you need to notice your, your pilot light. If you look in, your, in here and your pilot light is not lit, let's say for instance, there's no fire there, what you'll want to do is you'll want to remove this log right here on your right side you'll find your control panel to your fireplace. You'll notice it's setting in the on position. You'll want to move that to the pilot position. You'll want to find on your left side, a little button kind of hidden here, but it's a striker right here. You'll just push that button in and you can hear it striking. What you want to do is you want to take this pilot button. You want to push it all the way down and hold it. And then you want to press your striker button in several times until you see your pilot light light holding your button in. You'll see it light and you hold it in until you see that red ring build around your pilot light. Hold it for about five, 10 seconds. It takes a little bit for that hot pilot light to heat up. Once you think it's good, you can release your knob. If it did not light, just do the process again and hold it a little longer. Once it's in, once it's on, then you'll just take your button and turn it into the on position, pushing, pushing down slightly. And now it's ready to go. Place your log back in the same position and you can press your timer button again. And your fire should come back on.
We are at Camp Canoe and want to show you how to operate the TVs. This is a simple smart TV. You'll simply press the on button and your TV will come on. You can then choose the different apps, whichever one you desire. This cabin comes free with Netflix, so you can watch Netflix free, or you can choose any of the others that if you have an account, you're free to watch as long as you be sure and sign back out when you check out of your cabin. You have free tip TV. You can watch free TV. Just let it come up and then you can choose anything you want to watch. It is two, two. It is still In order to get back off of that, just simply press the home button prior to establishing the and it will take you back out. where you can go back and choose your apps again. Just press the off button once again to exit your television.